All right, so yeah, if you still stick here, we are not going for the moving targets. Let me tell you, it's not easy, and I really don't even like shooting at them. Let's uh, make it a bit easier at the beginning, so let's bring the targets a bit closer. Now, oh, is the wind changing? I thought it was changing. No, the bearing's still the same. All right, it doesn't matter. Uh, solar patrol, hell no, they're too difficult. Uh, set target pop-up mover. Oh, this is actually pretty slow. All right, it doesn't matter. Uh, so there's actually a, a funny little function in a track. Let's see where it stops moving, right around there. Uh, so these units here are mills or mill radians. I tap tabulator five times to get the unit se select move to the, or select the mills by pressing R once. You can also select feet or decrease and feet and tap tabulator five times again to confirm it. And now I'll get the mills. So just for an example, around here it's uh, uh, 16 to zero. Around here it would be 16, five, zero. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty much right, right? Uh, yeah. Or are they actually? Well, it might be just uh, a visual, uh, you know, fail. Anyway, let's move to the. Um, uh, actually, you can also do it from here. Target and target speed. Uh, man, this is gonna be terrible. So yeah, target range is uh, how far are they again? 450 meters. How did it work again? Was it like uh, for each mill? Uh, I probably want to use the. Uh... Oh, I had this shit uh, scope. Yeah. This is why I use actually good scopes. Finally, here and uh, let's designate the target again. And go to the target speed, it's moving very slowly. That's for sure. It's probably like one meter per second or so. I just want to find the spot where it changes its direction and place the about 10 there, so it would be around here. And let's see, 20 mils. And when you, I start a timer, I start a timer when it's moving from the to the right at the 10 mils here. So start and stop it when it's here. You really don't get a chance like this. Oh, well, it's pretty close. Wait, miles per hour? Oh, we are still in Imperial units. Oh well. So yeah, 1.4 meters per second. All right, sure. Let's hit the done then. And the wind is... Okay, this is... Okay, I haven't really done this myself too much. You don't really get a, a chance like this in actual mission, do you? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let's let's try it out. So yeah, I I'm gonna measure the crosswind again. A bearing 91, face the wind. Oh man, it's just increasing. It feels like ah shit. Well, it's not increasing, but my I'm just uh, facing so that there will be only crosswind component. All right, sure. And right now, I'm pretty sure I would have to say it like this. And the uh, horizontal hold to, uh, mm, well, 
five would be the nearest one. Where the fuck did my target disappear? Oh, it's still there. Okay, so it's measured so the target's moving to the left. So I'm supposed to be able to actually hit it now. Let's try it out. I'm quite sure how this goes. Alright. The target is moving so slowly, it's pretty darn easy. So I would aim around here, I guess. Oh, nope. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna wait for it again. Uh, let's try with a bit faster target. This is a bit too easy for this short uh, distance. Moving target, where is it again? Okay, this is a bit more challenging, I believe. Where did it change around there? This indeed is more challenging. Man, I was already a bit slow. Okay, that was false. Gotta start it again. Uh, when it's coming here, 10. Stop. 2.5, that sounds like what the speed would be set. Okay, sure. Done. So now it's what? 3.3, okay, sure. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just hope the wind doesn't change. But it hasn't changed so far, so I guess it's not gonna change now. So it would be then uh, 3.85, oh man, 5. Why, oh why, there's that 5? Five, what uh, they got centimals? After decimals? I don't know. Anyway, uh, all right, it does work. Just remember to uh, specify the target direction. So this first target is moving on the right, to, to the right. It indeed does work. So yeah, that's uh, moving targets for you. I'm gonna uh, link this mission to the description. Ah, oh, well, this uh, custom mission made by me, uh, but I'm gonna make link the uh, one made by uh, Ruseberg and edited by 30k to the description. I'll, I might uh, release this on Steam at some point because I like that the uh, directions. Well, yeah. The whole point of this is that there is more wind the higher you are, and at the uh, it's called Almira Salt Lake. It is Almira, okay. Uh, there are no hills or anything like that, so the uh, how's it called again? It's somewhere here. Is whether map-based wind simulation doesn't uh, affect that as much. So yeah, anyway, that's how you do it. Oh, I guess I can uh, show you my settings. I have uh, advanced ballistics on. Oh, I have disabled the muscle velocity variation. Yeah, I did that for, cause I was uh, doing the turning drop earlier on, uh, but the muscle velocity variation isn't that great. I mean, of course it does affect, everything affects this thing. But like if you check the config, you can actually, I believe the muscle velocity variation is, uh, uh, I think these are the different muscle velocities and different guns or different ammo types have different amounts of uh, them, you know. So yeah, muscle velocity variation is disabled for this. I did that originally because I wanted to try the tuning drop, but I realized it's not my cup of tea. Uh, other than that, uh, what else do actually affect it? Well, scopes I haven't touched. Uh, weather. Really? Okay, I thought I had disabled. Oh, actually. Yeah, exactly. I showed you the wrong ones before. Uh, so yeah, the 
updating the wall is maxed out so that I don't have to worry about changing wind all the time. For the example, uh, these all are enabled. And let's see. Actually, oh, I had the muscle velocity variation also enabled. So yeah, doesn't matter. But yeah, that's how you shoot at moving targets. Not something you're probably gonna do, cause targets won't be moving back and forth like this in real missions, but hey, now you know about that. Same as before, if you got any questions, do ask me down in the comments or message me on Discord, or I guess you can also message on TFB Discord. And yeah, that's about it. Next up, hmm, I could go talk about mortars finally, I guess. But then again, we don't really use them. Well, that's not the topic for today. So yeah, it was nice to have you here. Peace out, Girl Scout. That's what some people say. <laughs>